Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up an AWS organization if you have more than one account. AWS organization is an important feature if you want to control your member account with service control policies and you want to consolidate your billing within one account. My name is Mohammed Azam Badar and I am an AWS Certified Solutions Architect and I help people to understand how they can benefit from AWS Cloud. So let us get started. Here I am in US East one region and I click on my account and this is my organization where you can set up your organization. I click on my organization and now it has changed to global. So it means AWS organization is a global based service, not a region based service. So I click on create organization, create organization. And now I have created my first organization. And now I have to add another account in my organization. And this is a management account. Previously it was called master account, but now they have changed to management account. And I click on add account. And here I have two options. The first one, I can create new account if I want to. The other one, I can invite other account to be added in this organization as a member account. And I do have one other account and I'm going to add that account as, an or, as a member account in this organization. I click on invite account. And here I can use other account email ID or account ID to send an invitation. And I'm going to use a uh, account ID. No need to write any notes and send, click on invite. And now I have sent an invitation to other account to be added in this account. And this is, you have, the other account have 15 days to respond to my invitation and status is open. And I can also cancel this invitation if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. Now I go to my other uh, account to accept this invitation. Here I am in my other account as a root user. I click on my account tab and click on my organization. And I can see I have received one invitation. I click on this one. And here I have an option to accept or decline and I am going to accept this invitation. Confirm. And now this organization has become a member uh, to my other AWS organization. I go back to my organization and check what's happening there. I refresh, I am back in my main account, organization account, and I refresh this one. And now status has changed to accepted. And I go back to accounts and I can see now I have two accounts here. The first one is management account. The other one is member account. Here I have two options to manage my or manage and organize my member account. The first one is through policies. The other one is uh, organizational units. And I'm going to show you both ways how you can manage this one. The first one, I have to enable service control policies. I click on service control policies and enable service control policies. And by default, each account have full AWS access and you can't detach this from service control policy. You must have one policy attached to each account. I show you what I mean. I click on my member account and if I service control policy and I can't detach this policy, it's not going to allow me. I must have one policy attached to each account. The other thing, no, I go back to policies and I create my first policy and I am going to allow only uh, EC2 access in this account with all actions for all EC2 sources and I name this policy like EC2 access only access for EC2 only and I create this policy 
and now I go back to my accounts and I click on my member account and I click on service control policy and I attach this EC2 access only policy with my member account and detach full AWS access policy and now I this member account only have one service control policy attached which is EC2 access only policy now I go back to my happening there I come back here in and console and I click on EC2 and I have full access to EC2 but not any other sources and I show you if I go to S3 I do not have any access to S3 if for example I go to RDS and I click on create that I do not have any access to RDS I do only have access to EC2 due to this service control policy and this is the one way to control access to your member account the other way is organizational units and I am going to show you how we can do this I first uh, reverse my this change I attach full access and detach this policy and now I go back to organize units and I create new organizational units and I'm going to call this a dev ops team and I move my member account to this dev ops team and now this dev ops organizational unit have this account and now I go back to service control policies Uh, wait a minute dev op team and I select this organizational unit and I go back to service control policies and I attach this policy with my service organizational unit not with the member account and attach this policy and now I detach full AWS access from this organizational a unit and it I am able to do that and now I go back to uh, my other account and I do have the only EC2 access but do not have any other access in this account because I have created a one organizational unit and I have attached this service control EC2 access only policy with this one and it is it has overridden a member account root access uh, in my other account now I show you one more thing I go back to policies and I create new policy this time I allow only S3 I call this S3 access policy only S3 access policy I go down and I create policy organize accounts and this time I'm going to attach S3 uh, access and I am going to uh, detach EC2 access now this organization unit only have one S3 access policy and denying all other resources I go back to my other account and I refresh this one and now I have access to S3 but do not have any access to EC2 or any other resources because this service control policy is not allowing me to allow me to any other access and this is the way you can we can organize our AWS accounts effectively and this marks the end of our uh, video and let me know if you have any questions uh, in comment section and see you next time Thank you. Bye.